Okay, metallurgy. Dinesh is B.Tech metallurgy from IIT Bombay. You know, uh, there is there are these pillars which are rust proof in India. Do you know about them? The most famous one is in in front of Kutub Minar. Yes, this is a thousand year pillar, one thousand years old, and even the pollution of Delhi has not touched it. Yeah, it is still not rusting. Yeah, and the other one, this is near Bangalore, in Kollur. Yeah, where uh, there is. 750 centimeters of rain a year, 6 to 8 months a year, and this has been there for 2400 years. Yeah, and it is rust proof, no rusting. About the second pillar, what is more interesting is it was not built by any expert, it was built by the tribal, the aboriginals of that area to welcome Adi Shankaracharya when he came to their village. Yeah, so this technology was there not even with like the learned Brahmins or something like that. It was available to the tribals. Yeah, then there is this uh, mystery of zinc. You know, India held the sole knowledge of how to remove zinc from zinc ore for 4000 years. Yeah, because zinc is a very, very interesting thing. Zinc from the ore the zinc becomes liquid at 997 degrees Celsius but that same zinc then vaporizes and becomes gas at 1000 degrees Celsius so it is only a 3 degree window that you have to pull that zinc out and it is incredibly difficult yeah you know what we did it was very interesting See, usually if you see a furnace, kya hota hai? there is the furnace and then something is coming out and being accumulated. Isn't it? This is the way most distillation is done. Yes or no? You have got the heat from the bottom and something comes out and it is collected. Now, when the heat was com coming from the bottom, what would happen? The zinc would become liquid. It would go down or it would just evaporate and go out. Right? So, what, what did these people do? They turned it upside down. They put the heat on the top and they put an ice bath below it, cold. So it would come down, then it would go in the cold, it would solidify and you would get the zinc. Yeah? For 4000 years we kept this technique secret over here. Yeah? All the zinc in the world was made only by India. Nobody else could make it only. Yeah? Then one Chinese fellow stole it. Yeah? And then one British fellow stole it from the Chinese. <laughs> So there was this guy called William Champion who made the first zinc distillery in Great Britain in the year 1543. Before that for 4000 years, if you wanted zinc you had to come to us. Now this is a nice shloka in the praise of Lord Krishna. When you look at this shloka, do you think that there is anything special about it? It is like all other shlokas, oh Krishna you are great, you are this, you are that. Yes or no? Right? Only thing is there is this thing, there is a protocol called the Katapayadi Sankhya. Okay, it took me a long time to learn to pronounce that. <laughs> yeah, so there is this Katapayadi Sankhya where they give particular alphabets, particular numbers. So, for example, Katapaya is 1, and so on. And then, if you substitute these numbers in this shloka, you know what you get? The value of pi correct to 30 decimal places. Yeah, so we knew how to do encryption also. Yeah, Achha, now um, don't you like this what I am talking about? Yes. So clap and tell me no. Ah. Yeah. You know I am not used to just talking to an audience. I want audience feedback also. All right. Okay. If you don't like it, then uh, do like that. <laughs> so I know. 